Lesson 4-5, matrix inverses and solving systems. Determine whether a matrix has an inverse. That's what we're going to do first. Then we're going to solve system of equations using inverse matrices. Um, our vocabulary, multiplicative inverse matrix, what a matrix equation looks like, a variable matrix, and a constant matrix. Um, first, a matrix can have an inverse only if it is a square matrix, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, etc. But not all square matrices have inverses. If the product, which you're multiplying, of the square matrix A and the square matrix A to the negative 1 is the identity matrix, so if the product of A times A to the negative 1 equals I, then A times A to the negative 1 equals A to the negative 1 times A equals I. So a to the negative 1 is the multiplicative inverse matrix of a. Let's say that again. <clears throat> right here. If a times the inverse of a equals i, or the inverse of a times a equals i, then they are the inverse of each other. Okay, It's not as complicated as it seems. Um, and here's your remi re reminder. What is i? i is your identity matrix, which means you have ones in the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So if this becomes your answer when you multiply the a and the a and the negative one together, then yes, they are inverses of each other. So that's what you're looking for. Example one, determine whether two matrices are inverse. And we're going to be using your calculator, so go ahead and get it out because I want you to work along with us. Determine whether the two given matrices are inverses. You need to enter this into your calculator under A, matrix A, and this into your calculator under matrix B. Okay? And once you're done with that, you need to select matrix A and multiply it by matrix B. And when you do that, I just did it, this is your answer. That's your identity matrix. And then multiply them again in the opposite order. And here is your answer, your identity matrix again. So yes, those two given matrices are inverses of each other. Okay, next, you put these into your calculator. They're 3 by 3, so they're square, which is great. But we need to determine if they are matrices or not. So we're going to do A times B. Should have put boxes around that, sorry. You type it into your calculator. First, you enter that in for A and that in for B and then you're going to multiply them together. So when you multiply those together your calculator is going to split out, spit out 1 0 negative 1 0 1 0 0 0 0. That is not the identity matrix. So at that point you can stop. You're done. Once one of them fails you're done. You don't have to test the other one. If you would have put them in backwards and tested this one first this would have been your answer. Okay, multiply B times A, and you need another identity matrix. All right, you guys try this one. Type them in and um, determine if, it's a if the given matrices are inverses. All right, uh, my calculator spit out an identity matrix for both B times A and A times B. We're good. Let's try something new. We're going to define the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix by hand. Okay. So the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix, this matrix A, first you have to find your determinant of A. <clears throat> so A to the negative 1, which is your inverse, is 1 over the determinant of A. And then if you see right here, D and A have traded places, and C and B are negative. So this becomes scalar multiplication. 1 over your determinant of A times each entry in your matrix and that gives you your inverse. Note, if your determinant is 0, 1 over determinant A is undefined. So a matrix with determinant 0 has no inverse. It's called a singular matrix. Find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. First we find oops, the determinant, which is, remember diagonals, 4 times 1 minus 3 times 2. So the determinant is negative 2. So to find our inverse, that's a to the negative 1 is negative 1 half times the 4 and the 1 trade 
and the 2 and the 3 become opposite signs. Now do scaling multiplication. Positive 3 halves. Negative 1 half times 2 is positive 1, and negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. That is your inverse of A. Let's try another one. Find the inverse. So first we're going to find the determinant of A. 4 times 1 fourth minus negative 3 times negative 1 third. This gives me 1 plus negative 1, which is 0. Determinant is 0, so B, or so, so this, let's call, let's call it A, since we've already called it A, has no inverse. It's a singular matrix. Okay, you try this one. There you go. Your answer is right there at the bottom. Um, so you can use the inverse of a matrix to solve a system of equations. This process is similar to solving an equation. If you have 5x equals 20 and we want to solve for x, we would multiply both sides by 1 fifth. We would actually divide both sides by 5, but that doesn't prove our point here. So 1 fifth and 5, um, 1 fifth is an inverse of 5. It's 5 to the negative 1. So these cancel out. You're left with x equals... 1 fifth times 20 is 4. I multiplied both sides by the inverse of the coefficient. Same here. To solve two systems of equations with the inverse, we're going to write the matrix equation first, and I'll get into that in a second, where A is the coefficient matrix. You guys know what that is. X is the variable matrix, and B is the constant matrix. Next. So to solve this equation for the variable matrix, I would multiply both sides by the um, inverse. I'm going to move this over a little bit because it proves that they need to be in the right order. So a times a to, the, a to the negative 1 times a gives me the identity matrix, or 1. Therefore, x is going to be some numbers. Explain more. Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> Our coefficient matrix. It is 1, 1, 2, and 1. Our variable matrix, x and y. And our constant matrix is 8 and 1. Okay, so now you guys know the definitions of variable matrix and constant matrix. Um, so to continue for this, to solve ax equals b, again, I've done this before, we're going to multiply both sides by a to the negative 1. So those cancel, and we're left with our variables is the inverse matrix times the constant matrix. And please remember, matrix multiplication is not commutative, so it's important to multiply the inverse in the same order on both sides of the equation. a to the negative 1 comes first. Example, write the matrix equation for the system and solve. So A is 2, 5, 5, and negative 3. And then we have X and Y equals 0 and 31. Okay, so there's A and there's B. What I'd like you guys to do now is to plug A and B into your calculators. Once you get A plugged into your calculator, Select it with your calculator so that this is in the window of your calculator and go ahead and raise it to the negative one power. There's a negative one button, which is actually the button where the matrix is, and hit enter. And you're actually going to get some decimals. Okay? Um, the decimals are actually these numbers. So I just taught you how to do inverses with your calculator. And that's okay for this part. Okay, you have already entered B into your calculator too, so I would go ahead and like you to put push either answer or once this is in your window, keep it there, and go ahead and hit the multiplication button and multiply it times B. Let's review. You have entered A into your calculator and B into your calculator. You select 
matrix A and raise it to the negative one power and hit enter. This shows up in your window. Don't do anything. Hit the multiplication button and then select B and hit enter again. And once you hit enter again, this will pop up in your window. Okay, you remember the variable matrix is what's left over, and that equals 5 and negative 2, so that is your answer. Okay, let's try another one. Go ahead and write the matrix equation. So we have A, X, and B. You need to enter A and B into your calculators. Okay? Now, take the inverse of A and hit enter. And it'll spit this out. Keep that in the window of your calculator and go ahead and multiply times B and hit enter again. And your answer that spits out should be 3 and 1. So x equals 3, y equals 1, you could write it like this too, and there is your answer. That's all I got for today, I know you tries, I'll see you guys tomorrow.